Hi, I'm going to describe how to measure saturated hydraulic conductivity. And this is a part of our bachelor level course on groundwater hydrology. As described in other lectures, in previous lectures, saturated hydraulic conductivity as, is an important soil uh, properties that uh, we need to quantify, we need to measure to be able to describe uh, flow and transport processes. Okay, so uh, one of the common methods to, to measure the saturated hydraulic conductivity is called constant head method. And I'm going to explain for you how it works by solving one example, okay? So assume here a constant pressure head, 100 millimeter, is maintained on the top of a saturated soil column with a known cross-sectional area of 1,000 square millimeter and the length 100 millimeter. So here, this is your soil column here, okay? The length of the soil is 100 millimeter. You have 100 millimeter of water always maintained on top of the soil column and then the outflow on the bottom is collected over a certain period of time, let's say, for example, over 10 hours, and the outflow volume is determined 50,000 cubic millimeter. Okay, so you, you collect this outflow from here for in 10 hours, you could collect the 50,000 cubic millimeter. The question is, find the saturated hydraulic conductivity. So how do we do that? Okay. So, so you can just simply write down here the Dorsey's law that is Q equal to minus KS, that is saturated hydraulic conductivity, times delta H over delta Z. Okay, there, and you can rearrange this equation as KS equal to minus Q times delta Z over delta H. Okay, so now you have this one. Uh, so based on the information given in the question, you can calculate the uh, Dorsey velocity, okay? The Q is equal to minus V, V is the collected volume uh, of the outflow divided by A times T. A is the cross-sectional area times T is the time required to collect that much of the uh, outflow. So the V, the capital V is equal to 50,000, that is given in the question. And then A is equal to 1,000, that is given in the question, times T, the time required to collect the um, outflow, okay? That is 10 hours. Therefore, that will be equal to minus five millimeter per hour. And this negative sign here indicates the uh, velocity should be downward, okay? So you have the Q now, and then you plug it here to calculate KS. Therefore, KS will be equal to minus, the minus is here, Q, and instead of Q, I put minus five, if times delta Z over delta H. So that means you need to calculate this parameter. So so let's go back to the previous slide here. Let me move this one. Okay, so uh, if we assume Z is the, the reference level is here, there, let's call this point, point one, and this one, point two, okay? At point one, Z one is equal to zero, okay? Because it is defined at the reference level. So Z one is equal to zero. And then Z two is equal to, Z two is equal to 100 because this is located 100 millimeter above the reference level. Okay, so, so therefore here, uh, so delta Z over delta H, I can write it as minus Q times del Z2 minus Z1 divided by H2 minus H1. So Z2 is equal to 100, Z1 is equal to zero. So you know where, the, where did this come from, okay? So now you need to calculate H2 minus H1. Okay, let's go back again to our previous slide. Let me delete this one. Okay, again, this is our point two. This is our point one here, right? This is our point, let's say point one, okay? So here, the, uh, let's say here, okay, the, the, the hedge has two component, gravitational head and hydrostatic pressure, right? So in terms of gravitational head, that is equal to, so uh, that is the vertical distance between point of interest and the reference level. In this particular case is equal to 100, so that will be 100. Sorry, let me, that is equal to the H2 will be equal to 100, that is gravitational head plus hydrostatic pressure. And at this point, uh, again, the, the hydrostatic pressure that is explained, that was explained in the previous lecture, that is equal to the vertical distance between point of interest and the free water surface. And the free water surface is 100 millimeter above, that will be equal to 200, okay? And then you can do exactly the same for point one. Therefore, H1 will be equal to uh, gravitational head, which is equal to zero here because it is located on the reference level zero plus 
um, uh, plus the hydrostatic pressure. And we already discussed that when the uh, when you have flow to, uh, introduced to the atmosphere, the 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 pressure the hydrostatic pr the pressure is basically equal to zero. That would zero plus zero will be equal to zero. Okay, so H2 is equal to 200, H1 is equal to zero. So that is 100 plus 100 minus zero. Okay, so that will be two and a half millimeter per uh, hour. And that is the, that method, uh, what we did here is, uh, is known as the constant head method that is used to calculate the uh, saturated hydraulic conductivity of soil. I hope uh, you found this explanation useful. Thank you.